Okay. Before you read chapters five and six in Gathering Blue, I do want to review with you what imagery means. I'm hoping the term is familiar, but first of all, you'll notice the word image in there. Okay, because imagery is when you, or the author, create a descriptive image or almost a mental picture for the reader. The technical definition for imagery is language that appeals to the five senses. So sensory description, and it would show what something looks like or smells like, sounds like, tastes like, or feels like. Basically, language that appeals to any of those five senses. So imagery is, is descriptive. It's when the author shows you something, not when they just tell you. For instance, every year I have people who are telling me, students who are telling me, well, this says how she looked. She looked mad. And they're like, well, looking, that, that's one of the senses, the senses of sight. This is not imagery. It is just telling us how she looked. Okay, down here, this would be imagery. This would be showing how she looked. And hopefully it creates a mental picture so the reader can almost see it themselves in this case. Her eyebrow furrowed and her face turned a deep red. Her lip trembled in fury and I could see a big vein protruding from her forehead. That's imagery. Hopefully that developed the sense of sight enough so that you could almost see it. It created a mental picture. So again, imagery is when the author shows you that sense so you can almost feel it or smell it or see it yourself, not when they just tell you how something looked, tasted, etc. I'm going to show you an example without imagery, and then I'm going to show you an example with imagery. So here's the one without. It has some where they are just telling you about a sense, but this would not be considered imagery. Grandmother Workman looked old. She reached over and grabbed her grandson's arm. He was nervous because the staircase was steep, but she leaned against him and they began to climb. Now, I'm not saying this is bad writing, but it would not be considered imagery. Imagery would be a lot more descriptive and would create that picture for the reader. I'm going to show you the same basic story, but with imagery, so you can see what I mean by the sensory description. Grandmother Workman leaned over and grabbed the pale skin of Randall's thin forearm with her leathery hand that was dry and wrinkly with age. So again, in that first paragraph, hopefully you can almost feel that leathery hand that was dry and wrinkly okay, with age. That's sensory description. Next paragraph. Randall looked ahead toward the winding spiral staircase, fidgeted with a small hole in his baseball jersey, and bit his lip his mouth filled with the sweet coppery taste of blood as she leaned in closely toward him, breathing her hot breath on the damp hair at the base of his neck. She smelled of wet cigarettes and bacon. Hopefully you can have several mental pictures of senses here, some, some taste, some smell, some feel. As they slowly climbed the long steep staircase, the only sound was his grandmother's heavy labored breathing and the mournful creak of the wooden staircase. Okay, again, hopefully you can see several examples of the senses. In this example, this has several examples of imagery. The last example did not. Okay, you are gonna read both chapters five and six. Once you get to chapter six, I want you to pay attention to the imagery. However, don't be fooled by parts that simply tell you about a sense. Students in previous years often marked this example as imagery. This is not imagery. It's on the first page of chapter six. It says the huge bell in the tower of the council edifice began to ring. This is just telling us about a sound. It does not give the reader a mental picture of what that bell sounded like. It is just telling, not showing. So please don't write that example down. It is not imagery. However, once you get a few pages into chapter six, when Kira is actually in her room at the council edifice, you will see lots of imagery. So wait for the actual imagery. You're going to open a, an assignment for chapters five and six. Again, wait till you get to chapter six. And then there's two parts to that assignment. On the first part, I want you to actually find an example of imagery for sight, quote words or phrases with imagery. Please put the page or pages 
quote something for sound, quote something for touch. And then I do just want you to give one example for either taste or smell. There's not quite as much with taste or smell. So just one on that, on that spot. Then the second part of your imagery assignment is to write some of your own imagery and you'll see several choices on that assignment. Please, please, please ask if you have questions as always. Thanks. I hope you're enjoying the book so far.